Hello friends, I'll be using 10 and a half by 8 and a half picture frame that I got from Goodwill and I will uh, apply the Mod Podge first because this is laminated. So in order for the paint to adhere onto it, I apply the Mod Podge, really, it, it really helps. And then once it's dry, I applied one coat with the Waverly plaster. So once it's totally covered with the paint i am going to set that aside and uh, i dried it first and set it aside and now i have this napkin decorative napkin from hubby lobby so first i am going to just tear the sides i'm using a water pen if you don't have any water pen you can use a small fine brush and dip it in water and dab it onto the area you're gonna uh tear and then now I apply the Mod Podge and decoupage this napkin onto there. Using a fan brush, I also applied over it Mod Podge so to seal it. And I do that uh, in those corners first because I want something to, to hold which is not sticky. But of course, I ended up, everything is covered with the napkin. Um, if you're going to make this kind of graph, you're going to... Uh, cover it with napkin as well it's all up to you how you're gonna glue the napkin there but i'm just showing you how i do it because i feel comfortable um uh creating it like this because i have something to hold which is not sticky so that is how i do it um dry one napkin at a time so now that it's already fully covered, I will have this chicken wire. This is already uh, used prior to this. That's why it's already uh, pre-painted with black. So like I said, if you want to make this kind of craft, everybody, everything here is optional. Uh, either you can just not paint the chicken wire to use. And then uh, I staple all the sides there so that it's going to be very strong and permanently uh, be attached to it and I stretch the I stretch the chicken wire and then I'm going to glue it so I really love my glue sticks everybody if you want to know what glue sticks I'm using please drop me a message in the comment section and I'll give you the name and this is a pumpkin form Obviously, it's a pumpkin form. I got this in my stash. I painted this with the Burnt Umber by Apple Barrel. I only applied one coat with this. And then I am going to dry it. So once dry, I am going to trace this onto a cardboard. And I will cut it. Once I cut it, I am going to glue it onto the picture frame. Now, uh, please try to see that I put it in that direction, which is uh, I have the picture frame on a vertical position. Um, I change it into a horizontal position. So you can see that uh, this is kind of a mistake I had, but then I changed my mind, you know, because I think the other... Uh, position is much better so that's what I meant it's now on um, horizontal position now I got that on right on the middle and then on the back I put the glue I of course I stapled the 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 form the cardboard so the chicken wire is in between the pumpkin form and the uh, cardboard so it's not going to be showing all the glues that I did there. And after that, I put the uh, the glass that is attached to this. So I attach it there. And then I glued on the back um, and put a jute twine. So now I am applying or I'm rubbing these with the tea light candle. And once it's covered with the tea light candle, I am going to just paint this with a Waverly plaster. So you can see the glass and the chicken wire 
it's really very neat and i'm using this stenciling brush to just make this look distressed and chippy and now i'm going to make a very simple bow to attach with the pumpkin so i will just make it clear everybody that after i put the chicken wire i uh put the i glued of course the the pumpkin the wooden pumpkin and then in between the wooden pumpkin and the cardboard which is the cardboard is uh, on the back of the the chicken wire so the chicken wire is in between the cardboard and the uh, pumpkin form so on the back of the pumpkin form i put the glass so i just made it clear everybody because it's kind of a really fast so now i'm going to put the bow which is really very pretty then put some you know um fall leaves there to accentuate this so if you like this craft everybody and you like to see more of my craft ideas this is really very unique and creative and i really love how it turned out please go to my main page and please click the like and please give me a follow following me everybody you will be uh, notified when i go live and you will be updated with my future reels and craft so i have i'm using this bare antique wax dark antique wax i got this from home depot to just make this um craft and so with a message um distressed looking and old so i just put a maple leaf there it's a wooden maple leaf from hobby lobby so you can see now it's really very pretty it's very sturdy I love how it works. At the very end of this video, you can see an, uh, an addition of moss on the bottom. So this is the craft, everybody. I hope you love this and you love watching this video. This is such a very unique craft. I just put a beaded hanger there to hang this piece. So thank you all so much, everybody, for watching this. I hope you love this craft and you're going to make your own. This is such a very lovely craft and I... I love how it turned out. So you can see now the picture. This is the finished craft. So I love this. So unique and creative. Thank you all so much again for watching. Until next time, friends.